Miss Nancy Carsons, also known as Silverleaf, a most unusual young woman. Well, the most unusual name, Silverleaf? Yes, she's an orphan who was adopted by American Indians. She was raised on a reservation by a famous chief, Daniel Tenquat of the Saroma tribe. She must be a very interesting lady. Oh, indeed she is. Miss Carsons is a fully qualified airplane pilot, second officer with an international airline. What's her fantasy? To fulfill an ancient tribal prophecy. The task Miss Carsons has set for herself is something that no woman has ever achieved before. And it could cost her her life. My dear guests, I am Mr. Rourke, your host. Welcome to Fantasy Island. I'm aware that this fantasy is not your idea, that you are here only to please your adopted father, Chief Daniel. I'm glad you understand my situation, Mr. Rourke. I love Chief Daniel very much, but he belongs to another time and another culture, and I just don't share his beliefs. Chief Daniel has been a great and wise leader. What will happen with the Saroma Nation after he's gone? The people will quarrel, or worse, they're always hotheads. But why should you be concerned? You've had nothing to do with the tribe since you left to go to college. But it's my adopted father's lasting wish for me to fulfill an ancient tribal prophecy. What is the prophecy? When a daughter of the tribe shall capture and tame a thunderbird, the Saroma people will live in peace and prosperity for a thousand years. But the Thunderbird is a mythical creature. You are wrong, Julie. The Thunderbird exists, flashing like lightning across the sky, shaking the earth with his roar and fire, exactly as the ancient Indian legends describe it. See for yourselves. Demonstration squadron, of course. Known as the Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds. Arriving precisely on time for a goodwill visit to Fantasy Island. Oh, Mr. Rourke, Mr. Rourke, do you think, I mean, is there any chance to let me fly with them? Oh, it's all been arranged. They'll be delighted to take you up. Oh. As an observer. An observer? Oh, but Mr. Rourke, that wouldn't fulfill the prophecy. I mean, I have to actually fly the machine. I mean, to be in command. Miss Carsons, you hold a commercial pilot's license. But if someone checks me out, I know I can do it. Very well, Miss Carsons. But remember this. In the ancient lore of your people, the Thunderbird was sacred. Oh, I know all that, Mr. Rourke. Then I suggest you show due respect. And if you remember the prayers that your adopted father taught you, now is the time to say them. be very proud of your pilots, Colonel. I am, Mr. Rourke. The best in the world. Oh, I don't doubt it. 
Okay, in for the Bonton Rolle. Roger, Bonton Rolle. Sounds like a French dessert. Yeah, but your stomach may not like it. And roll. Certain Miss Carson has thoroughly enjoyed the ride, Colonel. <laughs> One is okay. Two is okay. She's a gutsy young lady, Mr. Rourke. Got the right stuff, I'll say that for her. Don't you ask me? And no, sir. Go be check her out. Let her find one of those ships by herself. Oh. <laughs> out of the question, of course. Great, so. She's a civilian. Wow. But I sent a special request to Hyatt headquarters. It's a long shot, but uh, I promised her I'd try. So did I, Colonel. Hmm? Uh, so did I. Excuse me, may I have your attention for one moment? Please. Isn't that your aircraft, Major? Yes, sir, that's my ship. With Miss Carson's at the controls. Colonel Kinross, I must accept full responsibility. I hope you realize that young lady is totally unfamiliar with that type of aircraft. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly, sir. She followed me through all the controls and every maneuver. She's got the right stuff, sir. T bird four. Come in, T bird four. Ground leader, T bird four. You're to return to the field and land immediately. Now that's the direct order. Sorry, Colonel. Colonel, let me try it. Nancy, this is Woody. Don't try anything. You'll get yourself hurt up there. Now come on down. I know you can do it. Ground leader T bird four. Come in, T bird four. Colonel, since Miss Carson refuses to return, 
uh, then surely you are justified in authorizing somebody to go and get her. All right, Major, go ahead. You know, I'll be forced to arrest Miss Carson the moment she touches down. Oh, that won't be necessary, Colonel. As Chief Magistrate here on Fantasy Island, I am responsible for meeting out all punishment. Uh, take my word for it. Miss Carson will get everything she has coming to her. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Colonel. Mm. Okay, Nancy, let's go home. Not yet. I've got one more thing to do. say that bird has been well and truly tamed, wouldn't you? She's gone. Impossible. What happened to her? Uh, we have a saying, Colonel. Nothing is impossible on Fantasy Island. <laughs> <laughs> 